Hi Winterfest students, my name is Jonathan Stormont and I'd like to talk to you about the spiritual discipline of Sabbath. Sabbath actually comes from the story of the Exodus. It's when God is going to deliver his people from Egypt. Pharaoh has had these Israelite slaves for hundreds of years and he's had them working. Their identity, their job is to produce more and more and more. And so when God takes them out of Egypt, it's interesting that he gives them manna. He gives them bread from heaven. So they don't have to work. They don't have to do anything. God just gives them what they need. And in the middle of all this story, God gives them some rules, but one that kind of seems out of place to us is he says, I want you to take a break. On every seventh day, I want you to rest. I don't want you to do anything. That's Sabbath. But now we're Christians, so we, we feel like we don't need to pay attention to these kind of things, but it's really hurt us. It started with cell phones, and now Facebook and Twitter, and now seven billion people can get a hold of you. There was actually a book I read last year that, that talked about how when they make students put their cell phones in their lockers, sometimes you'll have the, the phantom ring where you feel your phone ring, and they've actually discovered that a large portion of those times when you feel the phantom ring, your phone is actually ringing. And we're so connected, we're so plugged in, that it, it's, it's like it's a part of us. Sabbath is God's way of saying, you don't get your identity from that. It's disconnecting from the world around you. Sabbath is when the work is done, even when it isn't. Sabbath is God's way of speaking life into you that says you don't get your identity from what other people say about you. You don't get your identity from what you're able to do. You don't get your identity from your talents. You get your identity from God. So a few years ago, I noticed, I started doing some self-inventory, and I noticed that I kind of had this low-grade rage at all times. I began to resent people more and more. Um, I was upset a lot with my wife. I'd go home and kick the dog or whatever. And I realized what it was. It was that I felt like I was always on. I felt like I was always plugged in, that people were always expecting something of me. And so I began to resent people. I began to resent my life. And so my wife and I, we decided to start unplugging. One time a week, we'll turn off our phones for a whole day. We'll turn off Facebook, we won't check emails. And we just spend the day doing life-affirming things. It's when God speaks into my life that I am more than what I can do. And it's changed my life. That's why I believe in Sabbath so much. Because Sabbath is God's way of coming to a group of people much like us and saying, you're not in Egypt anymore. 